Hello, my name is Kirill. I'm a customer support expert from SharePoint. Today, I'm going to show you how simple it is to connect SharePoint Calendar to SharePoint Events. This is my SharePoint page, and I want to display here my company events. First of all, I will show you how we can add events design element to the page in different SharePoint views. This is classic page. Open it in edit mode. Put the cursor in the place you want to insert events design element, in our example it's panel. Click the insert tab in the ribbon and then the blue insert button to open the page builder. Now we can select events design element. For modern pages visual builder, open the page in edit mode and edit short point that part. Click the switch to visual builder button on floating bar and then navigate to the place where we want to add our event design element. Select it and click plus button. Now we are able to find our event design element and add it to the page. For modern pages, open it in edit mode Edit short point web part. Navigate to the panel where we want to insert our events design element and click plus button. Now we can select events design element from the list. We have the settings of the events design element open. Now we can connect your events design element to the SharePoint calendar. Switch to Connect tab and set up the connection for your calendar. We have chosen current site because we are storing the calendar on the same site we store the site page that we are modifying. In the Connect tab, please choose the calendar you would like to connect to. Click Listen Library and select the name of your created calendar from the drop-down. In our case it is Team Calendar. Choose a view if you prefer to use a custom SharePoint view. To display some fixed day amount, you can set the days limit field or the number of items you want to list through the items limit field. In our example, we are setting the days limit to 14 days. You can choose to show an expanded view of your recurring events or show only one event in the recurring events field. Set the time zone you want to use to display the date and time in the preferred time zone field. After you are done, please click Connect button. In case the connection is established successfully, you will see the interface light up with green. You'll be prompted to switch to the Items tab to finish setting up the connection. Items tab will have by default Start, End, End date fields already filled in by the connected information but you are also able to set some other fields to display the information. In our case, we are setting title field to show title information of your event and location field as a location. After we map the fields we want to display, let's click insert and see our result. This is how the page looks like in view mode, with the newly connected events element. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial and are ready to set up your own connection.